Uh, all right, so we're back, and we're going to be discussing one of the most top questions asked here in the shop. It's what vapor product should I start with? Um, we get this probably 15, 20 times a day. Yeah, 37 times maybe. Yeah. thousand. Yeah. Um, I mean, because there's thousands of different options when it comes to vaping. You have different box mods, different kits, different tanks. And it's not about, well, it's more or less about what you personally need out of it or want out of it. Exactly. Versus just wanting to get your nicotine out of it or wanting to blow these ridiculous clouds. It's like we do. Yeah, it all depends upon your device that you want or what you want out of it. All right, starting off, we have our Evog Mega. It is a pen style. It is a 1900 milliamp battery. Um, battery life's gonna last you pretty, pretty long, especially with as little of the power as it does push out. Um, it does take a dual coil, which is a very small coil, one of the smallest there is. Max is out at about 15 watts at fully charged capacity. Um, it's not gonna give you a ton of vapor. It's not gonna give you a ton of flavor. This is more for people who just want the nicotine. Um, you want to use a higher level, you don't want to have to use it too often, this is pretty much what you want. Um, it's a very cheap device, honestly. I mean, here we sell for $34.99 in a kit, so I mean, I don't know how everybody else sells it, but that's what we do. Yeah, and Aries. we sell it very often, at least one or two a day. Anyway, no, that's, uh, that's the EVOD. It's very discreet, very small. We have like four different colors you can get it in. Fits right in your hand, fits in your pocket, fits in your purse. It does also have a safety feature. So after about 12 seconds, if the power button is being pushed down too long, it will shut itself off so it does not overheat. Now, next, we have our Subvod Mega. It is a 2300 milliamp battery, a little bit more power, also plugs in, pass through charging, so you can use it while it is charging. Now, I wouldn't recommend it if it's fully dead because then you're just not gonna get any charge about it at all. But uh, it does have a sub ohm coil, so this is a lot more power, like I said, compared to this one, just a little over double. Um, it does have the airflow adjustable right here, the little air valve that you can just twist open and close the more open it is the uh the more air flow you will get through the more vapor you will pull out now the more closed off it is the more restriction you're gonna have more like a cigarette draw um, but also the more closed the more nicotine is gonna hit your throat and if you close it off there'll be more restriction now if you have a higher nicotine in there um it will hit your throat just a little bit harder it's not gonna be as smooth um, and it will be a little hotter in your mouth as well the vapor will be now this has a uh, temp control setting. So temp control, it's a little tricky here and there. Now with this one, you'll click the button five times to turn it on, five times to turn it off, and three times to go between the settings. Now regular power is just all around everyday power. Temp control, it will be green, it runs in degrees. Now the higher you have it, the lower you have it, will depend on how much flavor you get out of it. Um, you may not pull as much vapor through the temp control setting as you will through the power, because the power does heat a little hotter. Um, now this one, for instance, when it comes to a manufacturer-made coil, you just screw it into your tank, you may not get much of a difference. A lot of people don't, but a lot of people do. The only way that you'll get a big difference is if you build your own, but this doesn't have that option. So, anyway, next. We're going to move to the Kanker Tech Top Box Mini. Now with this, you do have the option to adjust how much power you're running up to it. This one specifically will run up to 75 watts. Same coils as the Subod Mega. Um, with this, you do have an extra expense of a single 18650 battery. Now, with that 18650 battery, you can not recommend it all the time. Use it in a pinch, the USB charge. When you do get the chance to get stationary when you're going to bed, right before bed, what I do, throw my batteries on the charger, they're fully charged when I wake up, good to go for the day. Uh, same top tank, top fill, really nice. Uh, same adjustable airflow. Now with the adjustable wattage, you can turn it up to however you're comfortable running it at. Uh, higher wattage means you're gonna get a little bit more vapor, the higher you go. Uh, same way with, this has the temperature control option you can adjust the degrees of how hot you want that coil to run. Yep. Which, Same as I explained in the other one, that one you can just adjust it, this one you can. Exactly. Now, uh, 
Another thing with this real fast is the coils on this one and this one, they're the exact same like he said, because um, they are the exact same tank. Now, whenever it comes to adjusting it, you do have a range on your coil that you can go between, and it depends on the resistance of the coil. Now, for instance, the coil that's already in this will be a, a 0.5 ohm regular power wattage coil. Now, it, uh, it runs about 15 to 60 watts. And you want to run it somewhere in the middle, and uh, um, you want to run it somewhere in the middle. You don't want to run it too high, and you don't want to run it too low. They're, it's bad either way if you run it too low or too high. Um, usually with those types of coils, people run them between 35 and 45 at most. Um, the higher you run it, the faster it will burn out for sure. Um, now on a piece like this, when it comes to nicotine, you usually don't want to go over about an 8, even a 12 at most. Um, 12 is kind of pushing it. You may change your coils out a little faster, but it also depends on what kind of flavor you use, if it's cinnamon, if it's mint, you know, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. Now. now, with the coils, how you can tell where you can run them, it'll either say on the box that it came in, or if, like, you, when you get the kit, it'll say on the side of the coil where you, uh, that coil can max out at. Yeah, now, for instance, if you are using these two mods right here, the coils in them, it's gonna it's gonna set its own range for that one because you can adjust these. So it's gonna give you the max power of either 40 watts with the sub bot uh, mega or about 15 watts with the e bot mega. It just depends. But anyway, last but not least, the Smock Alien 220 kit. These things are absolutely phenomenal. Dual 18650 batteries. It does have the USB charge, but like I was saying with that the Kanker Tech top box kit, you do not want to use that USB charge all the time. Honestly, with these, I wouldn't use the USB to charge it at all. Uh, I only use the bigger mods, the USB for software updates. That's it. Now, certain uh, ones don't have software updates, and it really is made for charging. But like we said, ignore the box. If it says it's for charging, don't do it, uh, unless you want to wait about 10 or 12 hours on your battery to halfway charge. Exactly. You're not going to get your full battery potential USB charge. It just no, won't happen. Uh, now, the tank that comes on this will run a lot higher than that. The coil that comes in the tank itself will run 40 to 80. Now, the one in the box will run, I think it's 50 to 110. Yeah, 110. So, still plenty of play in it to get your feel for it. Uh, you're going to get a lot more vapor out of this. The tank that's on there is nicknamed the Baby Beast. It's a cloud chucking tank. It is a beast. Yeah. Uh, still simple. Top fill. Slide the top open. Wonderful. Now, if you want the comparison, here's the big one. There's the small oh, one. The <laughs> now, they're both just as great, but uh, different features in each one. Oh, yeah. That's it. Like, this one, she has a button on hers. This one has a full side trigger love the side trigger it's just more comfortable to use you don't have to worry about where your thumbs at and fondle with it you just pick up the mod squeeze it and go exactly so now, i mean i hope we helped you guys out a little bit um like i said there's just a few of our mods that we have in the store um they're all really great mods to be honest um you may think this one's not as good as this one but at the same time like we were talking about it is up to you and what you need out of it we don't want to put you into something that you know, it's going to be too, but we also don't want to put you into something that is too little for you. We don't want to put you into something that you're going to want more and you're going to go come back the next day and buy something better and be mad at us because we didn't give you the right thing. So, like I said, they're all good mods. It's up to you. So, uh, just stay tuned with us. Uh, follow up on our Instagram and our Facebook. We posted some new sales today. So, definitely want to check those out. Forgot about that. Yeah, 120 mils here. Call over the phone or come in the store, whatever you want to do. Um, 20 bucks for a hundred twenty mil bottle of juice and we have 125 flavors man so definitely want to check that out can't really beat that no we're also running a premium it's called juice in a jug it's a hundred mil for what 15 bucks 14.99 yeah we're running that all week normally they're 20 but they're 100 mil bottles like like we're talking about and uh one of them is called party mouth and it is a wedding cake and buttercream ice and the other one is called sister cousin and strawberry a, yogurt yeah yeah they're both fantastic. Strong flavor, max VG juice, thick clouds. Yeah, we might be a little biased, but they're still good, trust me. Yeah. 
But so. uh, anyway, um, see you guys next week. Um, by the way, comment any questions you might have, and we will pick from them. Do a video. I mean, we want to know your guys' input. So uh, let us know anything you got on your mind. So, yep. Stay tuned with us, guys. <laughs>